We've seen wrestlers steal each other's finishers from time to time. It's a way for someone to get under their opponent's skin. However, it's even more humiliating when a wrestler gets defeated by having their own finisher used against them. Seth Rollins and Triple H's rivalry in 2017 was pretty personal. The game had been a mentor to Rollins for years and helped him become one of the biggest stars in WWE. However, after betraying Rollins and costing the architect the Universal Championship, their relationship was finished. After months of feuding, Seth and Triple H went one-on-one -on -one at WrestleMania 33. The two had a physical and brutal match, but it was the final moments that were the most heated. Triple H's wife, Stephanie, accidentally got sent crashing through a table. Triple H was shocked, but before he could act, Seth Rollins hit the King of Kings with the game's own finisher, the Pedigree. This got Seth the victory, and not only had Triple H been defeated, but it happened thanks to the move he made famous. One of Chris Jericho's best matches was when he took on The Rock at Vengeance in 2001. The two fought for the World Heavyweight Championship, but that wasn't everything. The winner would face Stone Cold Steve Austin for the WWE Championship immediately after, so much was at stake. There was no way for Jericho to win the match fairly, so he had to get dirty. After Vince McMahon ran in and interfered, why do Jay low blow the great one? Even more humiliating, Chris Jericho gave the People's Champion a taste of his own medicine. Jericho got the pinfall and defeated the Brahma Bull with the rock bottom. Yokozuna and Hulk Hogan's first confrontation was pretty brief. The Hulkster defeated the humongous wrestler in 22 seconds to win his fifth WWE Championship. After a match like that, the the two had to go at it again. They did just that at the 1993 King of the Ring pay-per-view. While it was much more competitive this time, it looked like Hulk Hogan would win. Thanks to Harvey Whippleman disguised as a cameraman though, Yokozuna took control. To throw salt into the wound, Yoko ended Hogan's title reign with Hulk's iconic finisher, the leg drop. Just like when the Hulkster would hit the move, Hulk Hogan didn't get up and lost the match. Kurt Angle's angle lock is one of the most famous submission finishers. It was pretty devastating too. So devastating in fact, that Kurt Angle was forced to tap out twice when the move was used against him. The first time was when he fought Brock Lesnar in a 60 minute Iron Man match. After going at it for a little bit, Lesnar demolished Kurt with a steel chair. This allowed him to hit an F5 and secure a fall. Brock then used Kurt's angle lock and forced Angle to tap out almost instantly. Unfortunately for the Olympic gold medalist, this wasn't the last time this would happen. 15 years later, Kurt Angle found himself in a match against Drew McIntyre on Raw. The Olympic gold medalist gave it 110%, but Drew couldn't be beaten. Finally, the Scottish Warrior hit Kurt Angle with the Angle Slam and then locked in the Angle Lock. The WWE Hall of Famer had nothing left and sadly had to tap out to his own finisher. At WrestleMania 31, Randy Orton defeated Seth Rollins with one of the best RKO's ever. However, Rollins would use Orton's own finisher against him in their next one-on-one -on -one match. The Architect and the Viper had the WrestleMania rematch inside of a steel cage at Extreme Rules. Things turned to chaos when Kane got involved and helped Seth. Randy Orton managed to take care of the Devil's favorite demon, but fell right into an RKO from Seth Rollins. With Randy laying lifeless, Seth was able to escape the cage and win the match. Mickie James is without question one of the all-time great female wrestlers. Funny enough, when she debuted in WWE, her gimmick was being a super fan of another all-time great, Trish Stratus. The storyline of James being obsessed with Stratus became creepier and creepier, ultimately resulting in a match at WrestleMania 22. It shouldn't come as a surprise, but Mickie James stole a move from Trish's playbook. To close out the fight, Mickie nailed Trish with a chick kick. The finisher had won Stratus many matches and did the same for Mickie James in her WrestleMania debut. Shawn Michaels and The Undertaker's very first one-on-one -on -one match had a flat finish due to it ending in a no contest. This set the stage for a rematch that took place inside Hell in a Cell. The idea was that there would be no outside interference, and yet there was. Undertaker's brother, Kane, debuted during the match and tore his way inside the cell. The Big Red Machine then used Undertaker's own finisher against him. The Tombstone Piledriver turned Taker into a dead man and allowed Shawn to get the pin and defeat the Phenom. At WrestleMania 11, it it was a battle of submission moves. Bob Backlund's cross-faced chicken wing versus Bret Hart's sharpshooter. The first man to say I quit would lose the match. Ironically, the winner didn't use his own finisher. After a grueling fight, Bret countered Backlund's crossface into one of his own. Bob Backlund collapsed to the floor and was so exhausted he couldn't even make out the words I quit. Regardless, Bret Hart still won, but I guess Bob proved just how strong his submission finisher was. Ironically, two years later, Hart would suffer the same fate. November 9th, 
1997, Montreal, Quebec, a date that will live on in infamy. In the main event of Survivor Series, Bret Hart defended the WWE Championship against Shawn Michaels. The iconic rivals gave each other everything they had, but neither wrestler would stay down. Michaels got desperate and decided to use Bret Hart's finisher, the sharpshooter, against the hitman. Only seconds after locking it in, the referee called for the bell. Of course, Bret Hart never tapped out. The whole thing was set up to screw Bret out of the title. Despite that, the history books show that the hitman submitted to the sharpshooter. Who was the first person to kick out of Triple H's pedigree? I can guarantee you, you do not know the correct answer. To see who it is, watch this video.